In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most versatile passing concepts out of the gun bunch formation in Madden 23. Now, this concept is going to be able to be pretty much every defense that your opponent is going to be able uh, to throw at you. You just have to make uh, the right read as the offensive player. Now, if you want to learn a little bit more about the gun bunch, I want to be breaking down the Washington bunch in this video. Uh, but this play is actually found in several different bunch formations or bunch playbooks. And if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. I've got three different gun bunches broken down, um, including the one we're talking about today, the Washington Commanders Offensive Playbook. We're going to be talking today about the play Flood. Now, what makes the play Flood so effective is the fact that we have a really good flat route uh, to the tight end. We have a stock deep dig route, and we have a nice little out route that's not going to that's going to go about 15 yards down uh, the field. So what you're going to see in this play from a setup perspective, literally all we're going to do is we are just going to simply put the running back on an out route and we want to snap the ball as fast as possible. And our first read on this play is we want to try to get the ball out to our tight end on this quick flat. Like I said, this quick flat is the probably the best flat route um, to a tight end in the, in the formation. It just is going to consistently give the defense trouble. If they're not playing hard flats, we're going to be able to take advantage um, of this. You're going to see here that was cover four. I'll show you cover three. Again, same basic thing. If they're not playing hard flats, you can throw that. And with how good broken tackles are in this game, you could typically get out quick um, you know, for you know a big game. This is also something that is really good against the cover zero meta. Um, and the main reason is because you're going to see here that kind of a natural uh, pick is going to happen. And you'll see how you can just throw that. And it will pretty much never be intercepted. Now, if you were playing like the, the, the nickel over or the dollar three two meta where, you know, this, this guy is going to be a little bit more pinched inside or potentially even manned up from the backside of the formation, this just gives you something, again, that threatens the flat really quickly. And in this year's game, in my opinion, you just want to highball almost everything. So uh, highballing this quick flat is really going to help it just be a little bit more consistent against zones. It's going to give it a better rack animation, and you're going to be able to consistently attack the defense with this play. Now, this flat route is going to turn our eyes up to the out route as a result. And as you can see here, this out route is actually super underrated. Now, if you run this to the short side of the field, I will say this out route is a little bit more consistent because of the way um, cover three and cover four work in this year's game. So you see right here, really nice little read there for us on that sideline. You can run this play to either hash and have a lot of success. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. Um, but the biggest thing here is, again, we want to be able um, you know, to attack the cover four defense. Now, we also have this quick flat to the running back. The main reason we want to put the running back on an out route is because we want to attack the flats on both sides, and we want to attack them as quickly as possible. You could also put your running back on a snap throw wheel. Um, as you'll see right here, that wheel will kind of open up that little pocket where we can throw that dig route um, as well. So we're basically reading the quick flats on both sides. And then based off of that, we might want to throw an out route. We might want to throw an in route. And really this fade route is mainly designed um, to just clear zones. If you wanted to against cover four, you can actually motion this fade out. And then what will happen is you'll just get a little bit better spacing for the totality of the play. And as you can see, again, we're just attacking uh, these zones. Now, if they are in a cover three zone, um, you'll notice something a little different just in terms of how that curl flat is going to play. So you see here again, we can attack the flats on both sides. What we want to do is we want to high point that over the curl flat. We don't want to free form. If we free form that, that's probably going to be an interception. But the way this game is made and the way that high point passing is so glitchy, Again, you want to highball as much as possible. So in here, we're going to highball up and over. And as you can see, he's going to get that little animation. And we're going to be able to get the ball down the field. Now, the best play, in my personal opinion, the best defense to guard this is actually cover two. Um, but the cover two defense is going to get high load in the flat. So that's where we want to really take advantage of our tight end. Now, if they are double flatting out of a cover two, or let's just say we miss the read to the flat quick, um, then what you're going to notice is these clouds 
Um, you can't really get this over. Like, as you can see right there, they play it really, really well. Now, if they're pressing you in Cloud Flats, you probably could get this over the top. But really, the best read on this play, if it is a cover two, uh, is to these quick flats. And then what's going to happen is this backside in is going to be opened um, late in the play. So again, the way they're going to have to stop the flat routes is they're going to have to double flat just like uh, just like this. So what this does is because we're using these flat routes, this will pull these uh, flat zones out, and there's that window right there to hit that dig route. Now this play is also really effective um, against man to man as well. Um, the the best read, like I said, I think. Uh, is this tight end quick flat? Like, this tight end quick flat is so good. Trust me on this. It's the best flat route in this formation. You want to be trying to test them and see if you can, you know, maybe get that out there for just a couple quick yards. Uh, obviously, you can read your out route quick, but one of my favorite routes is this in route. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to um, basically just pass lead inside, and you can do this without free forming, um, especially if you have set feet lead. All you're going to do is just kind of wait for him to kind of come inside. You're going to pass lead that underneath or down against man. And you see that's a very consistent route. Um, now let's say that the user, the, the dig route, what that's going to do um, is it's going to leave this out route on the right side open. Uh, this out route is pretty good, um, especially if you have short and elite. It should be fairly consistent for you to beat man to man. So as you can see here, flood is a very simple play. But it's very effective against pretty much every meta defense that you're going to face. And it's one of those plays that you can call to get them out of bad defenses where they're overcommitting to stopping your corner routes or they're overcommitting um, to not you know, worrying about the flats. I want to thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about the Washington Bunch, you can get my full Washington offensive ebook. All you got to do is join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up. And it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks as well. So if you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below and click the link down in the description.